Hello guys, welcome to my channel and uh, in today's video I will be reviewing the Droid on Time or .OS for Android. This is a new released custom ROM which is uh, being trained in the market right now and uh, truly from my experience uh, the custom ROM is way more good than the older uh, legends. So let's begin. So guys first of all this uh, Android ROM is mainly uh, themed as Android Audio as you can see here. The status bar is the same but the design is a bit uh, better from the Viper OS and uh, you can see the uh, build is quite well and uh, the uh, theme is totally uh, from the Android Audio. 8.1.0 and uh, here you can uh, also find the color engine from the paranoid android um, which is very good and you can change the quick setting tiles and uh, color and like that and the main features all of the features come here in the dot extras section in the settings and then on the sidebar you get all the customizations here and first of all there is status bar which in which you can um, disable or enable the notification count select your system icons which you want to show or uh, uh, you can tweak with the navigation bar uh, if you enable the on-screen on navigation bar then and uh, you can tweak with the clock position and uh, battery style battery percentage and uh, yeah that's on the status bar section and in the quick settings section you can uh, enable or disable quick settings titles and uh, that means the uh, little text uh, below the icons and uh, uh, then comes uh, you can enable or disable the uh, shortcuts like this settings button or add tiles or expander indicator uh, and like that you can customize the status bar rows and columns and uh, then you can enable or disable advanced quick setting easy toggle like uh, one tap uh, action for the bluetooth wi-fi and data and uh, then comes the display section and here is nothing much but uh, you can uh, enable or disable the wake on plug uh, plugin like uh, when you connect to a charging the device then uh, the screen uh, shows on and uh, you can enable or disable that you can enable or disable pocket de detection and it uses the sensor to uh, detect that if your device is in your pocket or not and uh, then uh, comes the accidental touch this allows your device to uh, manipulate that uh, when uh, your fingers are on your screen then the navigation bar will not work means if you accidentally touch one uh, then nothing will happen to your current work what you are doing right now and then comes the lock screen check section and uh, uh, here you can uh, enable or disable the power menu lock screen and uh, double tap to sleep and media cover art and music visualizer and you can also enable or disable the blur lock screen section and then comes the recent menu here you can just enable or disable the clear all button and you can tweak with the uh, clear all button position but you cannot customize the clear all button like the resurrection remix right now and uh, <coughs> sorry the memory bar is there and uh, you can also uh, enable or disable the it as per your, your choice and uh, you can also enable the lock, ta lock task button uh, in the recent windows and then comes the mix uh, or uh, better known as miscellaneous and uh, here uh, this is the section where uh, the developer puts uh, is puts in his 
uh, special features into the ROM and uh, here is advanced reboot, disable force close, screenshot, screenshot sound and uh, screenshot crop and share that little editor which pop up, pops up uh, every time you take the screenshot, camera shutter sound, three finger gesture to take screenshot, sensor block per package. That's all in the miscellaneous section and then comes the navigation bar tweaks. Here you can uh, uh, tweak picture on screen navigation bar or uh, uh, you can uh, fix the um, gestures of your uh, hardware navigation keys like double tap, one tap or long press actions uh, as on the RR. So that's really good. So that's all the features, not much but uh, still enough for a customer speaker and uh, I, I will tell you that uh, the ROM is very good and I, I have been using this for almost two, two months now and it is uh, giving tremendous amount of uh, performance and also battery life and uh, you can see that uh, 1.5 GB out of 2 GB is used but uh, in the uh, memory section you can see that uh, there is lots of application open but still a half of a GB is almost free and uh, the ROM performance is very good and uh, it charges quickly but the battery performance is also very good and uh, it's marvelous also marvelous and uh, it also has an inbuilt OTA updater which you can find in the about phone section and here is the dot OTA now right now I am not connected to uh, any network so you can ch check it out if you have an internet connection right now and um, the ROM is very good trust me and uh, this is uh, built on Android Nova 7.1.2 and also the kernel version is uh, upstreamed with the latest kernel uh, for our device for uh, 3.10.108 uh, and this is the latest kernel for our device and which is also merged with this ROM and uh, voltage is working fine as you are seeing on the top uh, of, the, of the status bar here and uh, yeah that's pretty much it i hope so the rom is fluid and uh, enough for it to be used as a daily driver and uh, i hope you all, you all will uh, love the rom i will give the download links down in the description and also i will give the xda link out there so if you have any queries then uh, you can uh, post there or uh, you can post your problems down below in the comment section and uh, so that's it for this video and uh, I'll see you next time in the next video so thanks for watching if you like my video then do hit the like button and if you are new to my channel then do subscribe it helps a lot and uh, bye bye for now